Hi everyone, I wanted to come on here and do a tutorial or more so talk through um, how to draw like a one point perspective like this or how to understand it. Um, it's currently the beginning of October in 2021, so depending on when you're watching this, we may or may not still be doing it, but I'm hosting a building drawing challenge um, for Inktober. So if you would like to join, or even if you would like just access to the images that I've been using, because this is one of them, I'm going to put that link in the description. But otherwise, let's just talk through this a little bit. Um, I wanted to talk about a couple strategies that I use when trying to draw something like this, because I feel like the eye can kind of be deceived by perspective. So perspective for just a very kind of general definition is something that's like showing depth here. So you see, like, I'm not just seeing like a flat surface of a building, like I'm seeing the side of this building and the side of this one, and it's really giving me that depth, that perspective. So when I'm drawing this, the challenge is getting these, these would be the horizontal lines, getting those to be at the right angle. So how can you figure that out or what are some tips and tricks? So I just have a pen here that's going to give me a couple different colors and I have a ruler. So I actually, when I'm drawing, I, I usually don't actually use a ruler. I kind of like eyeball it and try to draw a straight line, but just for kind of a demonstration sake, I'm going to use a ruler today. But so what I want to do is um, look at the sides of these two buildings here and kind of look for things that um, are in straight lines. Like if I was looking at this building straight on, so if I was like standing over here looking at it straight on, say like that, that would be a straight line, right? Or maybe the bottoms of these windows all align. So that would be a straight line. Or I'm assuming that they align sometimes too when you have, this is kind of like an older street with these old buildings, maybe things actually aren't very straight. So you're going to have to make some guesses and find some things that you assume are like in a good horizontal straight line. So definitely right here, maybe this um, line of the roof up here. We could do another one with that line of the roof. This looks like it's on a sloped street, so that might not be a good line to use, but let's start with just those couple and I can kind of tell you what I'm talking about here. So I'm going to line my ruler up at the bottom and this is just kind of like a, a trim board or something and I have it on red so hopefully we can see it and I'm just going to kind of keep drawing that line down. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to find the vanishing point. So if you took my building drawing class you'll already hopefully have an idea of what your vanishing point is. So at some point when you're looking at perspectives, there's like a literal point in your in your drawing or in your view here that all of your horizontal lines are going to merge at. So that's kind of what I'm trying to find here. So moving on to this side here, maybe the bottom side of um, these two windows, that window sill that I'm going to assume is in a straight line if I can get my ruler. There we go. And I'm just going to keep trying to find maybe the top opening, different things here that are in straight lines until I get enough that this might start to make sense. So I feel like I'm starting to get a point here. These, these seem to maybe have gotten off. Let's see if these might make sense. If our point was, eh. sometimes, I mean, they don't exactly merge, but I mean, sometimes you can kind of get a general point or a general spot. So I'm seeming to get something in here. You can see they're not quite all meeting at one perfect point, but they're getting close. But this is also could be too that these are kind of at different angles slightly just because they maybe um, this is an old street old buildings they're definitely not perfectly square so you can see the bottom of these windows too might be those two kind of aligned 
The top of those windows might actually have a curve on it, so that might not be the best. But you can see I can like kind of keep doing this until I get pretty confident of where my point is, which it's, it's somewhere in here, which actually that's probably good enough for us, for our purposes here, to know that our, our vanishing point is kind of somewhere in here. So how does this help us when we're drawing? So I'm going to kind of move this to the side so I can get a piece of paper so we can start drawing this a little bit. There we go. So in perspective, any vertical line that I have is going to stay pretty vertical. So I'm, I'm okay with, even if it's not perfect, just adding a couple vertical lines. So that I'm imagining is, is the side of that building here. Maybe, maybe there's the, the line where it goes from more of this smooth finish to a little bit rougher texture. So we can start putting some of our kind of vertical lines in there. But then how do you do the horizontal ones? Okay, so let's look at, at this one here. So let's assume if this is ground, that that kind of trim board is somewhere in there. And so this, this line I'm imagining is that. So I'm imagining my vanishing point is kind of in the middle here. And it, it's kind of down from, from this point. So it's somewhere in there. So I could start to look at this and even taking my pencil and kind of looking at what the angle is of that, that line. So even if I kind of looked at it like that and then go, uh, okay, my line should actually be something like this. Let's see how straight I could draw it here. Something like that. I'm looking then, okay, so here's the bottom. Actually kind of like juts out a little bit. Even though this, this is on like a sloped street, I'm still gonna kind of use this point as, as my reference to, to how these buildings come down the street. I can do the same thing. I look here first for kind of a reference. It's about at the same spot where that one is and just kind of pull my pencil from that vanishing point and draw that line. Okay, so this is that trim board. So that kind of gives me that. Um, then, then kind of think about, okay, how tall then from here is that window? It's, it's less than, than this height. So I'll say that window's maybe about that tall. Now again, look at where my vanishing point is kind of pull that line out. So you can see how I can kind of start getting some of those horizontal lines in there. So why I think this is helpful is because like once you get to say this roof line, so again, I'm just gonna kind of estimate. Maybe this is about one third, that's about two thirds. So maybe our roof starts somewhere about right there. Like if I'm just drawing this on my own, like not really thinking about where this vanishing point is, I'm not gonna probably use that angle. Like that's such an extreme angle. I feel like your your brain, it, I don't know, it just doesn't process that that is what the, that's what that perspective is doing to your drawing, to that view. So I feel like I often get those wrong if I really don't try to think about where that vanishing point is. So you can see this actually kind of starting to come together already. Like I can imagine that these three what looks like it used to be a window opening and they got filled in. They're all aligned so I can kind of ghost a little bit of a line up here. And then again think the top of that one, that line is coming down. That one looks a little shorter but okay what angle is that line come down from here? So if I drew all these lines, you'll start to see kind of almost the starburst start to appear from, from my vanishing point and pull it out. So this is something to, um, obviously it's easy when you have um, some printed image and you can draw on top of it. 
But you could do this too, say if you're sitting on a park bench and trying to draw something that's in front of you. Um, what you, you want to do is take your pencil and you're going to hold it out in front of you and you're going to hold your arm straight. So then you could start aligning your pencil, kind of like what we did with our ruler. You could start aligning it to different points and just start thinking about it. Start assessing it and see where in space do you think your vanishing point is. So that's something that you can do um, if you're drawing like live in person and you're not, not drawing off of like a printed view. So you can see again here, I'm thinking my, my vertical lines are always vertical. So I can draw those in there, kind of align my three. Oh, but this one only has two windows. There's no window up there, but. Um, and you could start to get those. And then I'll, now I'm kind of doing, uh, I already have these lines here that come from my vanishing point. When I drew that window, I just kept it going. So there's the sill of that one. There's the head of that one. So as long as you think they're aligned here, this, this will hold true. So you can see kind of how I started to sketch out that side. And I can do the same thing then over on this side. So let's see here. So I'm gonna kind of use what I already drew over here as a reference for how tall some of these things should be. So say the top of this window, maybe it's kind of where this roof roof line should be here. So again, this line here was back back there. So maybe our opening for this kind of arch somewhere in here. Um, and then this was kind of that roof. So again, thinking about where that vanishing point is, the height of my roof approximately. So I could start doing something like that. My arch is pretty close to that rooftop. So this work, I wanna, as I'm doing this, this archway here, that's, this is pretty much like a rule of thumb for things that are rectangular, things that are square, and I mean square as in they make like a 90 degree angle to each other. Um, so it doesn't work quite as well when you have things that are arched, such as this. Okay, so you can see here that looks pretty foreshortened. So really the edge of the building is like right after our arch. And again, I want that line to be pretty vertical. Move this all over just a little bit. And then thinking about these two windows. So the windows, you could see my red line that I already went through here. It's about that height of the arch. So again, I can kind of like ghost that line in that I already, I'm mimicking this one here. I can kind of think about how how tall do I think that window is. Again, just draw a straight line. So I hope you're kind of getting to see, hopefully it's starting to make sense without going too far here of, of how this works. So again, this can work um, if you're, you're drawing live in person, you still do the same process. You just hold your pencil out with your arms straight, keep your arms straight the entire time. Otherwise that might kind of like change your relationship to what you're looking at. So keep your arms straight. So it's kind of a, the same distance always, your pencil's always the same distance from your eye and use that as your reference. So, so I actually already drew this image this morning. So I'll be posting it on Instagram a little later this afternoon, if you want to go check it out. Um, but I hope that this was helpful to you to hopefully get your perspective drawings a bit more accurate. And, um, and it hopefully will make drawing a little bit more fun for you. So again, if you wanna join my Inktober building drawing challenge, you can find the link in the description to um, all the images that I'm using. And also just go and check out my um, Instagram account because I have a lot more information on there.